All right, so here we have an old brown bag MRE. It's menu number four, beef slices with barbecue sauce. These obviously don't have the peelable seal, so you have to tear it at this notch, but I'm gonna go ahead and cut into it. All right, well, here's all the components. You can see there wasn't very much in these uh, mid-80s MREs. First off, we'll check out the entree and uh, we'll be able to date this for sure. Uh, the first indicator is that you have the tiny white MRE spoon, which is the same spoon that used to be in the sea rations. So it's uh, on the earlier side. And here we have the entree, beef slices with barbecue sauce. Here's the ingredients on that. And the date code is 5063, which would mean it was packaged on the 63rd day of 1985. Also have your standard crackers. Also have the accessory pack. So this is accessory pack C, and it has coffee, cream substitute, sugar, candy, salt, chewing gum, matches, and toilet paper. Go ahead and check this out. Candy is chocolate fudge. We have coffee instant type one, cream substitute, sugar, salt, and matches, green gum, and the toilet paper peanut butter. You have a cookie bar chocolate covered and freeze-dried peaches. We'll check this out last. Let's just open up the box for now and just see what it looks like. So I was kind of afraid of this is in the time when for whatever reason they glued the uh, pouches to the boxes. I'm not exactly sure what purpose that serves. But here we have our beef slices barbecue sauce. We're going to check out these crackers. Yeah, these are those more hearty sort that I remember. Look at that. This is the ones that I remember from the old days. Give me a minute to knead that. I'll be right back. Now why don't we check out the cookie bar, chocolate covered. I would have been very happy to get this one back in the late 80s, mainly because it had the cookie bar and it also has the fudge bar. I have a bit of a sweet tooth. It's got that uh, sort of a graham cracker and chocolate kind of a smell to it. Uh, this is more likely to have a problem because it's just in this sort of waxy paper. You can kind of see it sort of come see-through. It's not in a retort pouch. Yeah, it smells kind of musty. Yeah, it looks kind of weird too. It's strange. It's like all dark in the center here. This would have been a, a treat back in 1985, but now maybe not so much. So we'll make up the coffee. And then we'll uh, check out the main. All right, we have the coffee instant type one. Creamer. And the sugar. All right, and that just leaves us with our beef slices with barbecue sauce. Let's see here. And I remember, yeah, I was never really all that crazy about this. It's sort of like a, I guess a tomato-based kind of barbecue sauce. Uh, not terribly spicy or anything. Anyway, why don't we check this out and see if it's edible. Yeah, and actually, of course, there is one more thing we have to check out. It's the uh, peaches. When you add water to it and reconstitute it, it's like a, a canned peach. All right, 
Let's try this uh, barbecue sauce here. Samari really is a good example. I only want to be better if it would be completely horrible, but um, yeah, you can see there's two different slices. I didn't realize that. Uh, but it's a good example of how you have to be careful with these old MREs. You do have to do the sight, smell, and taste test if you're going to decide to eat this. But luckily, everything seems to be fine. And I'm going to give this uh, beef a taste. Wow, it's really hard. It seems to be okay, though. It doesn't have much flavor. It's almost like jerky. It's so hard. And the, uh, the barbecue sauce kind of offsets that. I, I think this is okay, but I'm not going to eat too much of this. You know, when you get right down to it, it is 33 years old. The taste is very familiar. It really does kind of bring me back. And I have to say the only real indication that it may not be in perfect shape is the uh, kind of dryness and toughness of the meat. But I have a feeling it was always like that anyway. It's not too bad. I think that actually go good on the crackers. Next thing you have to try is the peaches. Yep, that's perfect. It's uh, like canned peach, but in a crunchy form. Like um, that astronaut food for kids. The freeze-dried ice cream and strawberries and stuff like that. That right there really kind of makes this whole thing worth, worth checking out. And it stays good pretty much forever, too. Let's try out the uh, the peanut butter. Give the uh, cracker itself a little taste. Yeah, I like these old first generation ones. It does have salt on it. You can kind of feel it. Not huge granules, but uh, it's definitely a saltine. And the uh, peanut butter. I think it's fine. I mean, it's peanut butter. It's uh, it's gonna last for a long time. Yeah, it seems to be fine. Just like with the uh, the beef, I'm not gonna eat too much of it. But I probably will finish the crackers. And you can see, it's almost impossible to break up those modern ones. But look how they uh, right, they break right along the lines and make little saltines. I think that's pretty cool. And why don't I try this idea of uh, seeing how the barbecue sauce is on the cracker. And that's okay. If you ate all your beef and you had some, uh, some of the barbecue sauce left over, you can just uh, kind of sop it up with the crackers. If you really want to try to eat everything. I know I said I was going to eat more beef, but a little bit on the cracker. Let's try the uh, chocolate fudge bar, which I'm a little bit dubious of. Doesn't look too bad. Doesn't have nuts in it or anything like that. That would go bad. Yeah, it smells... Uh, it's not rancid, but it smells kind of musty. And I always had sort of that plastic kind of a, like a waxy more than plastic kind of a uh, quality about it. And that seems to be coming through even more. It's kind of a shame. I mean, I really used to love these. But uh, I think it's going to be a good idea to eat too much of that. Like I said, there's nothing against this. This is 33 years old. It's nothing in this should be edible. It was not designed to be edible after uh, 33 years. But let's check out the chocolate covered cookie bar. And I'm hoping for good results with this. There it is. It's an old classic. Got a shiny, waxy chocolate on there. And sort of a kind of graham cracker tasting cookie. That seems to be in good shape. Let me just um, have a little bit of coffee first because um, I'm getting a little bit of mustiness, but I think it's from the uh, chocolate fudge bar. Let me just clear that out first. The coffee seems to be okay. It tastes like perfectly fine instant coffee, despite the 33 years it's been sitting in the pouch. Let's try this again. Yep, that is perfectly edible. So that was a look at an old brown bag MRE. Menu number four, beef slices with barbecue sauce and accessory packet C. And thank you for watching. Well, I was finishing up and I realized I forgot to try the gum. When you're dealing with an MRE that's from 1985, that's 33 years old, you really kind of have to try everything that's in there. And uh, let's see how the gum survived. Not too hard. Seems to be just about perfect. Like most of the other components in this one. It's really cool. Thank you again for watching.